Here with more on today's deposition, House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer, House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan, House Ways and Means Committee Jason Smith. He's the chairman there. Uh, all right, James Comer, let's start with you. Let's get your general impressions of the day. Well, I thought it was a very good deposition for us. Uh, we were able to confirm a lot of the wrongdoings uh, through Hunter Biden's testimony. Uh, there are many financial crimes that we believe have committed that were committed by the Biden family. Uh, Hunter was asked about specific transactions with specific LLCs that many of whom that I've uh, referred to as shell companies. Uh, he, we got his answer on the record, and we're going to go back and, and uh, verify many of those things. But what we also learned today, Sean, was that a lot of what Hunter said was contradictory to what three of at least three of his former associates said. So I think the next phase now is to bring Hunter in for a public hearing and hear from the other Biden associates. And let's determine then who the American people think they're telling the truth, because we've got the bank records. Bank records don't lie. We know the Bidens have taken in tens of millions of dollars from our adversaries around the world. And we still don't know, after all these depositions, after all the hours of testimony from the Biden family, exactly what the Biden family did to earn the $30 million from our enemies around the world. Well, I think, Jim Jordan, that's that's a key part of the question here. Now, Hunter on his own laptop yeah. that was very real implicates his father. Half his income goes to pops. What account should I pay for dad's home repairs? 10 percent for the big guy. Then, of course, we have Devin Archer. Not one, but 20 phone calls he testified to that Joe called in on with foreign business partners, then meeting Elena Batarina and others at the Cafe Milano, uh, the Russian oligarch foreign business partner. That seems to implicate the father in a major way, uh, and a big part of the testimony from what I read and, and heard in my sources had to do with the fact that he just wanted to protect his dad under all circumstances here, in spite of what would be a lot of evidence to the contrary. Yeah, I mean, Sean, the rules, uh, the House rules prohibit us in a deposition format from talking about specifics of that deposition until the transcript is released. But as Chairman Comer said, there were lots of things said today that evidence we've already got and witnesses we've already talked to contradict what Hunter Biden said. So we, we but I do think the, the maybe the best takeaway is we got a lot of good information I think would be a good roadmap for when, in fact, we do have a public hearing. But you're right. We already knew that it was phone calls. It was lunches. It was dinners. It was rounds of golf from the same White House who said he had no involvement whatsoever with his business and any of his business associates, but he engaged in all those activities. And we knew that from previous witnesses that we've had a chance to depose. And Jason Smith, he's basically basically saying that all his business partners lied and he's the one telling the truth. Uh, but then I go back to what Congressman Comer just said. When you look at the bank records, when you look at what you've identified, what you've said on this program, and James Comer has said, uh, identifying 10 Biden family members that got paid, OK, uh, well, what did they actually do? What services were rendered for the, this massive amount of money of millions and millions of dollars? Did you ascertain that? Did you ascertain what Hunter did, how he was capable of doing it, con considering he mentioned many times today his addiction? Can you tell us what is gr the grandchildren that got paid, what they did for the money they got? Sean, Hunter came up with numerous excuses. He first started out his opening statement, as you said earlier, that his father was not involved in his business dealings. Well, guess what? His business associates have testified differently. The two IRS whistleblowers that came before the Ways and Means Committee, their evidence proves differently. In fact, Sean, 327 different emails proved differently. That was between Joe Biden, Hunter Biden, and his business associates. Joe Biden was not just involved. He was a participant in these activities. All right. Let me let me I beg your indulgence, James Comer, for a second. Bear with me, because as Hunter talked about a MAGA motivated conspiracy theories and how he's been hunted in a partisan political pursuit of his dad and and that you've been dealing in innuendo, distortion, sensationalism. Let me ask you about the case that I think most Americans know the most about. And that would be the case of Burisma, uh, the oil and gas giant out of Ukraine. Is it is was John Solomon's reporting correct that in October? Over a 2015 interagency decision came down in the Obama administration that they would 
that, that there enough progress had been made regarding corruption in Ukraine that warranted a billion dollars in loan guarantees. Is that true in October 2015? I believe that was from an email from the John Kerry State Department, yes. Okay, next question. In December of that same year, 2015, have you confirmed and corroborated that a phone call took place with Joe Biden and Hunter when he was in Dubai with Burisma executives five days before Joe went to Ukraine? I believe Devin Archer testified that, yes. Let me ask the next question, because I think this is the key question. Okay, when Joe went there, didn't he brag before the Council on Foreign Relations that, in fact, he withheld, he said, you're not getting the billion unless you fire the prosecutor uh, that Burisma was so concerned about when they wanted D.C. help? Uh, and that's when he leveraged the billion, and they gave him six hours, and son of a bee, that guy got fired. As a result of that firing, did Hunter continue to get paid uh, by Burisma Holdings uh, for work that he had no background or expertise in at a time where he focused a lot uh, today on, at a time that he admits he was addicted to hard drugs? That all That's true? exactly right. That's all true. How many shell corporations have you identified, and you, have you noticed any other legitimate business activity in any of those count, accounts? You know, Sean, I haven't found a, a, an LLC yet uh, other than his Owasco, which he said was his professional account, which he charged all of the other LLCs legal fees for. Uh, he was a lawyer. I don't know what legal fees he, he performed. But all the, the, at least 20 of those LLCs don't appear to have any assets. They didn't have any website. They didn't have, you know, the, 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 uh, an office. They didn't produce a good. They didn't produce a service. Uh, they weren't involved in any type of manufacturing. They weren't licensed to be any type of lobbyist or consultant. So it, it appears that 20 of those LLCs uh, were, in fact, shell companies. A shell company, by definition, is a company with no assets or no known purpose. Now, some of the companies he tries to claim uh, throughout uh, the course of this investigation were investment companies, but we released a, an email from a bank examiner that looked into one of these so-called investment companies and said in, in an email from one bank examiner to another, this appears to be an investment company with no investments. I think that email pretty much sums up Mm -hmm. Everything that, that I've been able to uh, learn from all of these uh, different uh, LLCs well, that the Bidens had. Jim Jordan, let me go to the other oil and gas giant, this one out of China. Again, Hunter, no experience. Hunter claims the WhatsApp message uh, was written when he was either high or, or drunk. Uh, he claims now that in spite of what he wrote, his father was not there. First of all, uh, for somebody that was high or drunk, I'd say that was a pretty articulate message that was sent and pretty sophisticated on, on some levels. But he sent it. Is it true or not true that days after that exchange, that millions of dollars was sent to one of the Biden family uh, bank accounts. Is that true, Jim Jordan? Yes, that's true. Uh, that's exactly accurate, Sean. Okay, and, and explain before that, what that Sean, means. In the spring of that, yeah. yeah, in the spring in the spring of that year, you had eight Chinese executives show up at the Four Seasons with Hunter Biden and his business partners. This is according to testimony from uh, uh, Rob Walker. And while they're at this lunch to close the deal, in comes Joe Biden for a drop by, a drop in, and he does a short speech to the group and then leaves. And then the deal gets sealed. Then the agreement gets finalized. And a few weeks later, Hunter Biden gets $3 million from this Chinese energy company. And then later that summer, the very thing you just talked about with the WhatsApp message is when the $5 million comes into Hunter Biden. Okay, Jason Smith, in any of these business dealings where we're talking about tens of millions of dollars, um, can you, uh, Hunter claimed, I guess, his background on a UN board, on an Amtrak board, his background as an attorney, but then again, when convenient, he seems to claim, you know, that he was addicted at the time. Uh, Jason Smith, is there any services that you've identified that he offered any of these companies for the massive amounts of money that they're talking about here? The only services that he offered to all of these companies was access to the brand. And the brand is Joe Biden, his father. They sold access all over the world, the Chinese, Ukraine, Romania, you could name the countries in millions of dollars, knowing that this is how you get to his father is through him. 
Last question. Uh, I'll ask Congressman Comer and Congressman Jim Jordan. Um, a lot of people felt that Hunter got special consideration when you sent a second subpoena. Uh, I understand that this, this deposition was not videotaped today, and you agreed to only three hours of the deposition on the Republican side. Um, what would you say? Was that consideration given to Peter Navarro or Steve Bannon that are both facing jail terms for contempt of Congress? James Comer. Well, I think that uh, we got a lot of questions in. You know, the, the, I think the deposition lasted longer than that. Jim may have a better idea. I don't know what the final count was. But the Democrats didn't use their full hour. The way the depositions work, we get an hour, then they get an hour. Uh, we took the full first hour. They took about 20 minutes the second hour. We took another full hour. They didn't take but maybe 15 minutes the second hour. And then we went uh, way past the third hour. So uh, I feel like we got a lot of questions in, but I'll yield to Jim Jordan and let him answer that. Jim? No, no, it's not. Yeah, I, I think we had a, a good deposition today. As we said before, I think we got a roadmap for if, in fact, we have a public hearing uh, at some later point. And, uh, you know, we, we got these contradictory statements from Hunter Biden to all the witnesses and evidence we've gathered thus far. So we're going to continue our impeachment inquiry. Next week, we have Sally Painter, who was with this Democrat public relations firm that did work for Burisma. And then the week after that, we have a public hearing with Robert Herr on the classified document issue relative to Joe Biden mishandling all those classified documents right. over several decades that he did, according Last to the special counsel's report. Last exit question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how damaging was today's testimony or deposition to Hunter Biden? Jason Smith, you go first. 1 to 10, 10 being the worst. Well, I would say that um, they're pretty good at not recalling many things, so I would say an 8. Okay, James Comer. I'd say an 8. Okay, Jim Jordan. Yeah, Sean. Sean. Sean, I think it was very good for us. As I said, I think we got a lot of information that we can use if, in fact, we have a public hearing as uh, Chairman Comer is talking All right. about. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.